Hey there. In this video, we're going to walk you through what is certainly one of the most practical and popular features within Bella, which is the ability to copy your listings between shops and between platforms. In this example, we're going to demonstrate how to copy Shopify listings over to Etsy. So we'll get started here in our Shopify shop, where we're looking at all of our active listings. As we look at our active listings, we'll note that on the far right, there are icons underneath the shops column, which indicate whether or not a listing has been posted in another channel. So in this case, we're seeing that one of these listings has both a Shopify and an Etsy icon next to it, indicating it's been copied to that Etsy shop while others only have a single Shopify icon. Note that if we had copied to multiple Shopify shops, we would see multiple Shopify icons, so on and so forth for Etsy. As we look at each individual listing, we'll see familiar options to edit, copy, delete, and share. In our case, we're interested in copy, where we'll see all of our connected shops, in this case, both Etsy and Shopify. If we wanted to copy this individual listing, we'll simply click on which shop, and then we'll see up top a banner that confirms that that's been copied over to our Etsy shop. Now, if we want to copy multiple listings, that's just as easy, and we can use the bulk editing approach where we'll select multiple listings, and then rather than mouse over each individual listing, we'll see up top a drop down that presents us with the same options where we can click on that shop to copy them over. When we click through, we'll see the process of these copying, which happens fairly quickly. And then within our shop, where we automatically landed by clicking that banner, under the Vela tab, we'll see copy as an option, which shows that these listings are in our copy category. So they're not active, they're not published, they're ready for us to work. You'll note that each listing has either a green or a red copy badge next to it where red indicates that there's some work that needs to be done to get this ready for publication, while green indicates it's ready. We can click on the status tabs here to sort between those. So in the incomplete section, let's get started by fixing some of our copies. We'll start by making individual fixes to show that process. So we'll see that Vela makes our life easy by automatically flagging the different attributes that need updates or fixes, we can also see we can toggle between them in the bar up top. So let's get started by fixing inventory, where in this case we need some kind of non-zero quantity. Next we'll go to variations, where we'll see that we need to identify this product with categories to align with Etsy's requirements. We'll make these updates and we'll see that's fixed. Next we'll need to identify what kind of product this is and we'll see that we fix that detail too. Lastly, we need to choose a shipping option, where in this case, we'll select from one of our profiles. We'll save this, and then back in our copies menu, we'll see that that listing now has the green box indicating that it would be ready for publication. Now we'll show you how to do this in bulk, where we'll select the listings we want to fix. And in the leftmost bar, we'll see a similar approach to flagging these issues. We can of course use the bulk editing approach now to apply all changes to all selected listings and we can make our fixes accordingly. Note that you don't need to save as you go along, I'm just doing it to show the changes in the navigation bar. You'll also note that we can select with errors, which if we have multiple listings selected where some don't have issues, by clicking on this, it will only highlight those that need the fixes to make our life even easier. So we'll see as we proceed that we're making these fixes that are gradually getting these copied listings ready for publication on Etsy. Once again, we'll see familiar bulk editor dropdowns where we can update this information quickly. Lastly, just as before, We'll attach a shipping profile to these listings. Once again, with the bulk editing approach, we'll save, and we'll see now that all of these listings we copied over, both in bulk and individually, have changed to green on their copy status, indicating they're ready for publication. 
So now we'll toggle complete where we'll see all of these listings ready. And we'll see as we mouse over each one, that once again, we can choose to either publish them or save them as a draft individually. Or if we want to do multiple products at once, just as before, we select which ones we want to publish or save as drafts. And up top, we'll see the same kind of option. We'll see the 20 cent listing fee for each listing for Etsy. We'll agree to it, hit publish, and in just a matter of moments, these listings are now live in our Etsy shop. In a second, we'll confirm that by taking a look now at our active listings in this Etsy shop, where we'll see up top these new additions to our shop. We'll also see on the far right those icons where we now see icons for both Etsy and Shopify for these listings, indicating their new status. So that's all you need to do to copify from Shopify to Etsy and fix the listings. Thanks for joining.